Hey folks, Mac T here and uh, I got a oil filter from a 3.5 NA Duratec that had a water pump failure. That's right. And we're going to cut it open and the question is, will there be metal in the filter or won't there be? I know the answer but hey, I might be wrong. But let's go ahead and cut this uh, oil filter up and uh, see what is actually inside as far as metal. And uh, hey, the results may be frightening. Now, I'll use this to hold it. I use this to actually pull the filter off. You can see I sort of dented it up because somebody put it on there really hard. But first thing to make this uh, easier and to make the cut easier is to get this gasket off of here. That way that's out of the way. And this is a brake filter cutter. And uh, you just screw this on here like so and then you just hold it and you turn and just keep turning and then you keep tightening and you keep turning it's gonna make a bit of a mess but that's the way it is Then once you get it turned enough, uh, you can then take and uh, remove it. And that's all it takes. Pretty simple, good little tool. And I'll have the, uh, the uh, link down below for this uh, brake tool. Uh, gets a little oily, but it'll never rust, right? Anyway, that's how that works. Works pretty slick. So let's go ahead and see what kind of uh, uh, filter stuff we have. Uh, right here, I have a metal filter holder, and then of course the drain back valve and all that stuff is right here. And this is the top. I don't see any metal other than what I cut in here so far. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of here what happened was taken off it clamped down and I couldn't pull it out so yeah would have had to cut it from the end but it's not welded in there but this filter let's go ahead and check the media note to self you can't open up damaged filters like that let's see what kind of metal we're gonna find in here with a flashlight I see something but let's go ahead and check it out Uh, interestingly enough, I'm not really seeing too much metal. But it could be. Let me get a magnet and see if we got it. I think we got some here. But it could be aluminum from that uh, water pump. Because I see a bunch of shiny stuff here, especially right here. Yep, there it is, folks. Right there. Tons of metal. I don't know if you can see that. That is nothing but metal. This whole filter's filled with it now that I'm rubbing my finger in there. Nothing but metal. Yep, more metal. You can see it right there on my fingers all of that is metal I don't know if you can focus on it but look at that let's see if the magnet does anything okay you see the magnet right nice and clean let's rub it over these uh, 
filters. Now keep in mind this is the outside side of it. So we'll start with this one. Run this over the filter. Let's do a little bit on this one. Some on this one. And as you can see, look at that. Look at that. So we got a lot of metal that's coming out of this. And there's aluminum in here too, so we're not going to be getting that. But the amazing thing is that It definitely leaves metal behind because this whole end is it's just all gritty it's all metal and that's just the steel we're not talking about uh, any of the aluminum you can see right there in the rag see that there's the metal in it it's just showing up as it's doing that so yeah, there's a lot of uh, metal in here. And, uh, hey, that's what happens when your water pump fails. You get a lot of metal. Uh, why? Why am I getting metal in my oil filter due to a water pump failure? Reason why you're getting metal is because there are metal pieces in the water pump and there are aluminum and we got all the actual magnetic metal uh, rather than the aluminum here that gathered up in small pieces uh, there's more to it than this but this is what you're going to get when you do your uh, water pump job is you take this out and this is why it is very important to take and change that filter and change the oil well folks that is it for the oil filter for the water pump failure and uh, that has the most metal in it that I've ever seen in any oil filter for a normally operating 3.5 now I will do the water pump video later and uh, show you where all this metal came from and uh, how it distributed throughout your engine now keep in mind uh, there are many surprises when the water pump fails uh, and it is very very <laughs> important that you clean the oil pan out and flush the uh, coolant system and actually flush the oil system uh, so when you go and do it I'll cover more in that oil pump thing later but I can tell you when we got this engine put back together uh, we ran it for 5 or 10 15 minutes with just cheap oil in a new oil filter then we drained it and then we refilled it with a new oil filter and new oil cheap oil again ran it for a lot longer you know half hour to an hour and then we drained that out again and then we installed good oil with a good oil filter uh, we were essentially flushing out anything we could find and anything the oil pump could pick up and anything to get out of there to give every component inside that engine a fighting chance. And that meant flushing that uh, oiling system out and uh, everything else because we did go whole hog on this repair on the oil pump or water pump. Uh, we put new oil pump in it. Uh, we put new phasers. Everything was new. Uh, it's a complete front end rebuild and as you can see this is why we have this metal in the oil filter we had metal in the oil testing and therefore we wanted to get it out since we rebuilt the engine so we will have a probably another oil test after about 3,000 miles of run to see where we're at we do expect uh, 
a little bit higher silicon because of the gaskets and putting it together it's all going to be having a little higher but we're hoping the universal metal count is lower and uh, coming back to normal and it may take a couple oil changes to bring it back to the normal situation but we have high hopes we didn't run it hot and uh, it did get hot, but not hot enough to steam out on us. So uh, we, we're hoping we got everything done the right way. But that's your oil filter. That's why it wasn't stuck or welded. I just had damaged the bottom of the filter and I uh, just couldn't pull it out. But we did test it. I can see, but the video probably don't do it justice, but I can actually see metal flakes in the filter media on this uh, Napa filter. So... Uh, Hey, kudos, it caught a lot of stuff, but it didn't catch some, and uh, we'll talk about that later in another video. But anyway, uh, like, subscribe, join, all that good stuff. You guys know what you do. Support me on this, okay? Watch the videos. That's how I make the money to do this stuff. And if y'all don't watch the videos long enough or click on the ads, it just decreases the amount of money I make on doing these, and quite frankly, they don't pay very well. So, uh, yeah. Help me out, watch the videos, and like, subscribe, join, all that good stuff. And with that being said, we have great music from the band of one. Mercy Girls always got a couple of one-liners. And uh, hey, don't forget, links below for this uh, tool that I used and other things. And uh, see you all on the flip side. My feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day, too. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.